What's up, kinfolk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. I want to start with this idea of superstar intellect because, well, thanks to my girlfriend Laurel, I am a Westworld enthusiast. I love stories about stories. And I say that to say this. Uh, one of the catchphrases in it is, these violent delights have violent ends. Also has some other phrases like, what are you testing for? Fidelity, among other things. And I love the voice commands and I love how some of these phrases trigger intent from the host as opposed to the guest and this idea of loops that we are within and what we don't want to acknowledge, which is that we are not all unique. We are not all sui generis. Some of us stand apart in different ways, but I believe we are unique in some traits and we are unique in the talents that we were given by whomever you believe that you were given your talents. I contend skill is being able to shoot a basketball. Talent is being six foot eight and 250 pounds. Skill is being able to bowl. Talent is having 2015 vision. Skill is being able to to throw a baseball, talent is being able to throw that baseball 95 miles an hour. And because in sports we see such superstars and we see such intellect in those superstars, there are different rules that are not just given to them, but they have to be asked to abide by or we have to genuflect in their direction. We don't ask our great poets to diagram sentences, right? That is because their talent and their creativity is such. And Chuck Daly was a master at this. I'm toward the end of Jack McCallum's book, Dream Team, about the 1992 Dream Team, for which there were 11 Hall of Famers on a 12-man roster, plus, you know, a private school punk named Christian Leitner, right? You had Patrick Ewan and David Robinson. You had Chris Mullen and Charles Barkley. You had uh, Michael Jordan, you had Magic Johnson, you had Larry Bird toward the latter stages of his career getting ready to retire. You had Clyde Drexler, who was all but forgotten about, as was Carl Malone and John Stockton on that team. But what I love is Chuck Daly's also in the Hall of Fame, along with Mai Krzyzewski and I think P.J. Carlissimo. If he isn't, he will be. And Carlissimo is an assistant on this team, and the reason he is is because he reminds us that Seton Hall has nothing to do with the Mighty Ducks. They're on the map because PJ was so great at coaching that team. And then Mike Krzyzewski is Mike Krzyzewski. And I believe at the time was coming off of two national championship teams with Christian Leitner leading a couple of them. But more than that, they didn't know anything about the superstar intellect. They didn't know anything about what it meant to coach Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Patrick Ewing, David Robinson. They didn't know what it meant to coach Carl Malone and Charles Barkley, right? To see Chris Mullen and Clyde Drexler coming off the bench along with Scottie Pippen. So he took them aside right before they were getting ready to start practice. And he said, you guys are college coaches, so you won't understand this. But I need you to ignore. I need you to learn to ignore so many things. There are going to be things that come up over the course of these practices and in the course of these players' downtime that you're frankly just going to have to forgive and forget because they are on a different plane. The way that each one of them needs to get in shape to play is different. Charles Barkley famously did whatever he wanted to do outside of basketball. Would put on weight, would lose weight, would drink, would carouse. Michael Jordan, before the gold medal game, in 1992, played Tonk until 5.30 in the morning, took a 25-minute shower, then with NBA Entertainment, went traipsing around Barcelona for a film in 100-degree heat and 90% humidity, and played 18 holes of, uh, of golf before leading his team to the gold medal. Now, with that team, you should be able to win everything, but that's also... The, the great burden and pressure of being on one of these teams, the 96 Bulls, right? The 2015 Golden State Warriors or 2016 Golden State Warriors. The man, you continue to go down the, with the Patriots and you look at these dynastic franchises and we don't remember them in the ways that we always should. But 
I think one of the ways that we should remember them is the way that these coaches were able to coach them. Phil Jackson being among these, like Chuck Daly, who just understood some of your players are going to be different, but they achieve that level of difference. The super uh, superstar intellect is one that is earned because Michael Jordan, while being blessed with the talent of being six foot six and 216 pounds, also was famously hard at working at this thing called basketball. And I think that extends to college football and my favorite sport. One of the things that I actually enjoy about Lincoln Riley is his ability to acknowledge the superstars on his team, to acknowledge that some of his players are going to be treated a little bit differently. Baker Mayfield being the most iconic of those because of what he could do for you on a football field and because of how badly he wanted to win. Nothing would get in the way of that. Even antics where he was forced to sit out part of the game against West Virginia, you could see how much it hurt him and hurt Riley to do that because for once, he had to be reminded, you're not bigger than the team, but you do operate by a different set of rules. And because you are the face of this franchise as the quarterback, we both have to come down harder on you and forgive a lot of what you do. And navigating these things from a manager's standpoint is a thankless task and one of the hardest tasks to perform in the world. I am becoming so utterly fascinated with that idea because as I open this with Westworld, one of the things that I am coming to enjoy is Lisa Joy and Jonathan Nolan's understanding of their show and understanding of how Evan Rachel Wood plays Dolores and others operate within it and the leeway that they are allowing these actors to tell this phenomenal story, but also keeping everything on the rails, keeping everything on schedule and abiding by this idea of superstar intellect. Let your great artists, your great creatives do what it is they do best and try to guard them from the world around them while they try to achieve these great heights. I love this stuff. We come back, let's talk about uh, horse and how ESPN tried to give us what we all thought we wanted, but it turns out the limits of Zoom and the limits of horse, actually, when put on television, cannot be overcome. 